and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, I would like to talk about Dreamcatcher's Deja Vu, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis of both the lyrics and the music video. Deja Vu is a song that deals with the themes of memory, perception and the dichotomy between truth and lies. The music video reflects these themes by telling an epic story of love, friendship and betrayal, and the title itself foreshadows the importance of perception in the troubled relationship they are singing about. In French, Deja Vu literally means already seen, and it's the feeling of having already experienced a situation you've never lived through before. On a general level, déjà vu has to do with a distortion of perception that is triggered by the memory of a feeling, a past event or a dream. Déjà vu is a false memory that our mind creates based on our experience, and in the song this idea is perfectly expressed in both the lyrics and the storyline. At the beginning we see Yuyun in a throne room. She is dressed in white, which represents goodness and innocence, but as soon as she sits on the throne she is engulfed by a cloud of black smoke. This scene is mirrored by the lyrics that mention a thick fog that covers the painful memory of the past. And this is important because, as we'll see later, memory is an essential theme to consider in order to understand the story. After a series of shots that show the members in dark and lonely scenarios, we see Ji Yu towering over Yu Yun with a sword in her hands. She's dressed in black, a color that highlights her evil intentions, and in the scene we get the idea that Ji Yu has betrayed Yu Yun for the throne. This sense of betrayal is reinforced by the very next scene, where we see the members in a dining hall. This is a flashback of happier times where the girls were friends. In this instance, even if Yu Yun is in the center, it's Jiyo who is dressed in white, which is something that foreshadows their true roles. In the very next shot, something very interesting happens. Jiyu and Yu Yun stand on the opposite ends of the table and the other members disappear. Here, the runner and the drinks turn blue, and this is important because blue is a color that symbolizes memory. Since it's a deja vu we're talking about, however, the memory here is distorted according to the perception of the girls. If the real memory shows them all getting along, the deja vu shows a subjective version of the memory, which is not focused on friendship but on rivalry. The use of color here is very telling because they are employed in couples to express the difference of perception of the characters in the story. Two sets of colors stand out in particular, black and white and blue and red. Black and white obviously represent the dichotomy between good and evil, but as we see in the video, the people who wear them change according to the character's perception. From Yu Yun's point of view, she is the good one and Jiu is the bad one, but when we see the flashbacks and the perspective of the other members, Jiu is the innocent one and Yu Yun still super. I think that the dress she wears in the flashbacks perfectly conveys this idea. The dress here is blue, red and black. If black represents her evil nature, blue and red may be seen in different ways. On the one hand, they can symbolize the confusing nature of memory, red being the objective truth and blue being the subjective lie we tell ourselves. On the other, however, they can also represent different views on love, which is something also shown in the scenes with the coffin. Blue roses are a symbol of unrequited love, and in this shot they are compared with the white and red carnations of Sua's dress. The white carnation is a symbol of pure love, while the red one symbolizes deep love and affection. The fact that the carnations are only printed on the dress while the blue roses are real, however, is very telling, because it may represent the idea that lies and pain overpower truth and love completely. The shots of the coffin is paralleled by the lines that say that for every truth they believed, the other covered them with lies, and the scene is a perfect representation of it. In the story, Jiu believed in the truth of love and friendship, but Yu Yun betrayed her and now she is in a coffin full of blue roses, a symbol of the lies that she was told. The fact that Yu Yun appears in the coffin as well is very interesting, because it connects us back to the theme of perception. In the story, she is obviously the antagonist, something confirmed by the shots of her surrounded by the other members and by the visual of her attacking Jiu after she decides to spare her life. But the fact that she is in a coffin also suggests that she thinks her actions are justified because she is the hero of her own story. The theme of perception in the video is shown in several ways. The shots of Sua walking in the hall, for instance, are distorted because the memories associated with their relationship are distorted as well. 
The love they are singing about hurt them, but they also long for it. They want to forget it, but also go back to it. And this contrast is also expressed in Dami's scene. In the video, she is surrounded by mirrors, a symbol of duality and identity, and her lines convey a feeling of confusion regarding the situation. In the song, they want the truth to be a lie and the lies to be the truth, because it was the lies that made them happy and the truth that makes them miserable. The idea here is that a beautiful lie is better than a painful truth. In the video, Yu Hyun justifies her actions by believing the lie that Ji was the enemy to defeat, but this behavior is self-destructive and toxic. This is evident by the final scenes of the video. The members fall into the darkness, thus signifying them falling into the lie of the fantasy they created. And the final scene confirms this as well. The song ends with the line, and now I'm in my deja vu, and we see Yu Yun alone and surrounded by vines. The vines are a symbol of endurance and determination, and this makes sense because she's victorious at the end. She beat Ji Yu, and now she's queen, but she is alone, and the kingdom she reigns over is in ruins. These visuals show where following a light takes you. Now she is queen, yes, but she is a queen of the ashes. She forsook through friendship for power and greed. She allowed a fantasy to take over and now her reality is nothing but misery. The fact that the moon is bigger than the sun here could signify that darkness has overpowered the light. But she doesn't understand this because truth has become lie and darkness her biggest light. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did or have any requests for future videos, please let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of Deja Vu? If you have time, please think about liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.